It's Friday, February 24th. I'm Aaron Guy with your news to go. We are getting our first look at the moment. Orange County deputies arrested the teenager accused of killing three people in an Orlando neighborhood, including a news reporter and a nine year old little girl. Investigators say 19 year old Keith Moses still had a gun that he used in the shooting. The weapon was still hot. That means it was likely just used. Moses is charged with murder and is being held in jail on no bond. Meanwhile, Martin County Sheriff William Snyder has sent a letter to President Joe Biden after nearly 80 migrants were detained on a boat right near Sailfish Point, right off Hutchinson Island. The sheriff said that he wants President Biden to take, quote, more action. Investigators say the group of migrants included women and children. Some of the women on board were pregnant, all from various Caribbean countries, including Haiti. We reached out to the White House for comment, but have yet to hear back. And a quick heads up here, if you commute from Seaboard train station right there on South Tamarind Avenue in West Palm Beach, you're going to see some changes while termite tenting is going on. Amtrak trains won't return to the station until Monday morning. Tri-rail trains will board on track one only and Greyhound pickup will be moved to the north end of the property. And your seven day forecast looks pretty good as we head into the weekend. Temperatures will be a It's Friday, February 24th. I'm Aaron Guy with your news to go. We are taking your first look at the moments that Orange County deputies arrested a teenager accused of killing three people in an Orlando neighborhood, including a news reporter and a nine year old girl. Investigators say 19 year old Keith Moses still had the gun that he used in the shooting in his pocket. The weapon was still hot, meaning he had just used it. Moses is charged with murder and is being held in jail with no bond. Martin County Sheriff William Snyder has sent a letter to President Joe Biden after nearly 80 migrants were detained on a boat right near Sailfish Point off Hutchinson Island. The sheriff says he wants President Biden to take, quote, more action. Investigators say the group of migrants included women and children. Some of the women on board were pregnant, all from various Caribbean countries, including Haiti. We reached out to the White House for comment, but have yet to hear back. And a heads up, if you commute from the Seaboard train station right there on T South Tamarind Avenue in West Palm Beach, you're going to see some changes while termite tenting is happening. Amtrak trains won't return to the station until Monday morning. Tri-rail trains will board on track one only and Greyhound pickup will be moved to the north end of the property. And it is going to be a warm one. Temperatures will be in the low to mid 80s today. Same thing on your Saturday and then on Sunday. Highs back into the mid to upper 80s, but boy, it's going to be really hot on Tuesday. 89 to 90 degrees with very warm winds out of the southwest. 86 on your Wednesday, but good news, it will stay dry all weekend long and even next week with a lot of sunshine and morning lows will stay on the cooler side in the 60s. And that's your news to go.